Hi y'all. This is the video of um, my story, how I got kicked out of my mom's house back in the day. Um, unfortunately, my video recorded vertically and not horizontally. Um, but maybe that's okay because this is a story all about how my life got turned off, flipped upside down. So maybe it's appropriate. Here you go. Hi y'all. This is so, so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? As promised, y'all wanted to hear the story about how me and my sister got kicked out of my mom's house. So now this is the story all about how my life got flipped, all turned upside down. I like to take a minute, so just sit right there as I tell you the story how my mom kicked out the pair. <laughs> Picture it, 1988. I was a senior in college, pregnant, had my daughter in 1988 came home from college um, college was over in May and then my daughter was born in June so it wasn't like I left college early so college was done in May and then I had my daughter in June so when I came home from the, that that fourth year in May I stayed with my mom I went back home and stayed with my mom had my baby but not only did I have a baby my sister Deborah already had a baby so I was 21, I think, when I had my baby. Deborah had already had a baby right out of high school. She was 18. I know, telling all her business, but she, she don't mind. She wanted her baby. She, she wanted to have a baby. I just got caught up. <laughs> but anyways, so here it is now. We are both living in my mom's house with our babies. So in our mom's house was my dad, my mom, me the oldest with my baby, Deborah the second oldest with her baby, and then my sister Denise and my sister Danica. And at this time, Danica is probably, I don't know, 12 ish years old, something like that. Denise, maybe about, uh, maybe Danica about 13, maybe Denise about 16, something like that. So, let me give you the backstory before I move on. Most of you already know that I was born and raised up in the church. I mean, I was, when I say born, I was in my mama's belly and I'm sure I went to church every day. I mean, not every day, but every week. So, my mom being a saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled woman, speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Bible living, living holy, raised her children in that same manner. Needless to say, she was very, very hurt, disappointed, sad when her first child, not her first child, I'm her first child, but when Deborah, who was the first child to have a baby. So needless to say, she was disappointed and sad and thought, what did I do wrong? Um, when Deborah popped up pregnant. But lo and behold, when I popped up pregnant a good year, year and a half after that, it's surely like, Lord Jesus, what did I do wrong? I know I taught this girl, these girls better than that. So that's just the way, you know, we were raised. So here it is now. But of course, after we, you know, the, the pregnancy is revealed and uh, we go throughout our pregnancy, my mom was just amazing. You know, sometimes grandparents are very disappointed or parents are very disappointed but then when um you know when the fact that the grandchild is here is coming you know um they are just very supportive so my mom was very very loving and kind and supportive after the initial i didn't raise y'all this way so here it is now deborah's baby is about a year and a half my baby is just the baby derek is just maybe about um I'm gonna say, I don't know, maybe three, four, about three, four months now. And I've been living at my mom's house for those three, four months that Derrica was a babe, you know, was was born. So my mom ever so kindly came home one day, 
which I think we thought she came home from work, but no, she had came home from working all right, but it wasn't work, her job. She had came home from working on getting us out of her house. <laughs> so my mom come home and she says, Deidre, Deborah, come in here in the living room. I need to talk to y'all. And Lord have mercy, them just the worst words you want to hear from your mama. Come in here, let me talk to y'all. So we come gathering in and me and Deborah looking at each other like, what is going on? What we did wrong? Besides have babies out of wedlock. So my mom says, sit down. I need to talk to you all. We sat down. We're looking at each other. We're looking at her. We're looking around. We're looking at the ground. We're looking up at the Lord. And my mom ever so lovingly says, and I mean literally ever so lovingly, not being facetious at all. She says, you all know mama love y'all, right? And we say, yeah. And she says, however, I didn't, the way y'all living and having babies is too many babies. It's too many, she says, too many grown folks in this house. She said, and I'm the, me and your daddy are the only grown folks in this house. There's too many grown folks in this house and too many babies. I didn't raise y'all that way, and I have two other girls, you know, to raise. And she said, so you all are going to need to get out. And me and Deborah looking at each other like, get out. We ain't got no money, and we ain't got jobs like that. We have we had jobs, but it's like we can't afford to move out. And we're just looking at each other, and and she says... Oh, and she could see the worry and the questions on our face. She just, she, she, as a mom, she knew the questions that we had. And she said, oh, don't worry about anything. I've already taken care of it. You have somewhere to live. I've gone, because she had friends who were landlords who had property all over our area where we lived. And she had already reached out to them. She said, oh, don't worry about anything. I've already got y'all all set up. I have you somewhere to live. I've turned on your lights. You can have your beds. I'm going to get new stuff. You can have your beds. You can have pots, pans, sheets. I got everything y'all need. Your lights already on. Your water is already on. And me and Deborah just looking at each other. Like, when did you do all this? You did this the day while we thought you were at work. <laughs> My mom, you guys... When I tell you we didn't need a Walmart, Kmart, Zales, say uh, 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 all the marts that was, wasn't a Walmart back in the day, but all the marts that were open at the time, grocery, we didn't need any, we did not even go to the store. My mom, my mom has sought out her, their friends, found the location herself, which was a duplex, a two bedroom duplex, paid the down payment and the first month's rent. Turned on our lights and our water. Gave us our bedroom set. Gave us a living room set. Gave us all the linen we needed. Gave us all the food we needed. And set us up so nice and so sweetly. And we were still just flabbergasted. We all think we even knew what to say. We were like, really? She said, yeah, y'all want to go see it? She said, I have the key. And we were like, uh, yeah. So we got in the car, went and looked at this duplex. And we were, I mean, it was awesome. The duplex was very nice. It was roomy enough for the four of us, me and Deborah and our, our babies. And then we were like, when we move in, she, my mom handed us a key and said, today. <laughs> Get out today. <laughs> yes. That's how my mom put us out, you guys ever so lovingly so um that's the story uh how my mom put us out now just bonus since i got just a minute or two before i have to go inside then my mom put me out again from my own place you say how did she do that okay deborah meets somebody um and they she meet and i think within six months deborah and her husband um gets married and my mom comes and tells me, Deidre, I think you need to move. And I was like, why I need to move? She said, because, you know, Deborah's married, newly married. First of all, she said, first of all, there's too many of y'all in this uh, house, in this duplex. I got this duplex just for you and Deborah and your two kids. 
mind you, my mom friends with the landlord. So she's thinking about, you know, um, she's also thinking about being conscientious of their property also. So my mom is like, look, and you know, of course my boyfriend was staying there. She knew my, she knew my boyfriend. She knew my boyfriend was staying there, not living there, but he had his own place, but you know, he would stay there quite often. So my mom was like, this little duplex is not built for you and Derek and Derricka, Deborah and her husband, Wes, and her child, Danielle. This little duplex is not built for six people. That's number one. Number two, they're married. They're just starting out. I said, well, why I got to move? Is it because you make more money? You can afford to move. And at first, I was um, appalled that she would even suggest that I move. But then after a few days, I started thinking about it, and I was like, my mom is right. Number one, this apartment is 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 getting kind of tight up in here. But also, two, um, I can afford to move, and that's what I did. Uh, eventually, after maybe a couple of months of me and Deborah and her husband living uh, living together. I eventually moved. So that's the story. All about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Ever so lovingly by my mama. I hope y'all enjoyed that story. If you did, please thumbs up and leave me a comment. Have you ever been put out? <laughs> All right. Have you had to put your child out? Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Hi y'all. This is So So Blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? As promised, y'all wanted to hear the story of how we got kicked out. So here's the story. Now, this is the story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I like to take a minute to... Hi, y'all. This is So So Blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? As promised, this is the story about how my mom kicked us out way back in the day. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. It all started about 1986. Hi, y'all. This is So So Blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? Okay, as promised, y'all wanted to hear the story about how my mom um, kicked us out. So this is the story. Now, this is a story all about how my life got turned 